Hi guys, from Louise here, back again for another video on the channel. And now this one is heartbreaking. The first video this summer of a player actually leaving Swansea City Football Club. And unfortunately, it's one of our best players from the last couple of seasons. The man who managed five goals and ten assists from left-back position, Ryan Manning. He has followed Russell Martin to join recently relegated Premier League side, now in the Skybet Championship, Southampton. Let's see what my thoughts on this transfer is from a Southampton point of view and from what we can expect from a Swansea point of view in terms of going forward without Ryan Manning. So Ryan Manning then, 27 years old, so still very, very young in terms of footballing terms. Southampton's first summer signing under Russell Martin, so no real surprise that Martin's first signing is a former Swansea City player. Ryan Manning, four-year deal for the Republic of Ireland International, so really, really good contract for Ryan Manning, gu guaranteed to get a lot of bonuses in that contract contract and a wage rise which he probably deserves after the last couple of seasons he's at Swansea City. He's had six caps for Republic of Ireland so of course has got international experience as well. Now a stat which I really like in terms of you know Manning's credibility at championship level is that he's had seven consecutive scenes at championship level getting over 200 appearances with Rotherham United, Queen's Park Rangers and Swansea City. So you look at this from a Samantha point of view you've got a guy who Still isn't nowhere near his third. He's still got three years before he's 30. He's got international experience with Republic of Ireland. He's played seven seasons in a row at championship level, over 200 appearances with three different championship clubs in terms of, you know, Rotherham, in terms of more of a relegation side, QPR, and so on, more of the mid-table trying to get playoff side. So he's got plenty of experience at championship level. So, you know, Samantha must be absolutely buzzing with this. So he joined Swansea City then in 2020 um, for around about £250,000. I believe he was on deadline there because he was signed uh, Ryan Manning. Um, in his first season at the club, he got to a playoff final where we lost to Brentford 2-0 of course I was at that game wasn't a great performance from Swansea City to put into perspective um, like I said last season 5 goals and 10 assists which was absolutely insane for a left back um, we were playing you know free at the back at times so he was pushed on a little bit more but you know he was more more or less you know a left back left wing back um right man can also play left center half as well has played in the back three with the city and also can occupy in a center midfielder role which we never really saw at the city but we did see him in that center midfield role a lot at rotherham united um russell martin said and that when Southampton announced the signing in a court conference with uh, Southampton's media team, that um, there's a lot of signature, well, a lot of clubs wanted uh, Ryan Manning's signature, including two unnamed Premier League sides. So I'm going to probably assume maybe one of those are Luton Town and um, another one of those are maybe Sheffield United, teams like Aston around him. But there's plenty of chaps of interest in Manning as well. Uh, Middlesbrough and Leeds United were also heavily linked with the Irish left back. But it's Southampton who got their man in the end, which just shows how much Russell Martin has got his man. I think if Martin was at Southampton, then maybe, you know, Manning would have moved to Middlesbrough, maybe um, with the unnamed Premier League sides, as you know, he hasn't got that connection with the head coach. But obviously, he really likes working under Russell Martin. And we saw that last season, Martin heavily fancied uh, Manning down that left hand side you know Manning's on the majority of set pieces as well and you know when Manning was injured for a few games we definitely noticed his absence um no player created more chances per game last season than Ryan Manning so out of every single player in the championship last season no player created more chances in a game than Ryan Manning which just shows how invaluable he was to Swansea City but just how amazing he was as a player last season um, starting to reach his prime as we saw with his numbers last season from left back position kind of wasted that left back I think these sort of numbers like I say can occupy in the centre midfield role as well but um, similar with Trent Alexander-Arnold obviously not compare Manning to Trent Alexander-Arnold but in terms of a fallback being so creative and going forwards Manning's very similar to Trent in that aspect um, like I said create, he's created 108 chances last season with Swan City 108 chances which is pretty mental in 41 games didn't miss a few games with injury um he created 2.6 chances per game which is just remarkable in it for a left back um i haven't got much more to say than this it's just heavily heavily pro ryan manning propaganda um honestly some of fans if you're watching you've got a hell of a sign in sometimes when a player leaves on a free transfer and they get a big contract elsewhere they maybe do tend to fall off we've seen that sometimes it's on city we've seen it with Jimmy Patterson, for example, really, really good season, 
got a new contract and yeah, safe to say that's not really worked out. We've seen it with Mesrues or Arsenal, for example. Uh what playing really well gets a new contract, downfalls in performances. I don't I don't think that's gonna happen with Manning Sampton. Sampton's got so many good Premier League quality players at championship level. Yes, a few of them like uh Lavi La and probably Ward Prowse will leave, but they will still have some quality players in there this season, which just shows, you know, Manning it, it just won't be heavily relied on him, which I think will, you know, really impact him defensively as well. At times last season was caught out a lot and you know, some of the goals were down to Ryan Manning, um just being so far forward, but that was just down to Swansea's, you know, pressure on Manning being so reliable creating chances so in terms of Swansea City you know it's a huge loss for us we knew he was going to leave uh, last month but you never know like we expected Hal Norton to leave the club he was announced he was leaving the club and sign new deal so I do want to make this video a month or so ago where you know I wasn't guaranteed that Manning could have signed a new deal because anything can happen in football but it has now been fully confirmed he signed a four-year deal with Southampton so yeah, Swansea will definitely need to replace Ryan Manning. Obviously, Nathaniel Ogbeta is a similar player in terms of can play the wing-back role and did really well with Peter Bray United on loan last season. But with Nathaniel Ogbeta, I'm not sure if you guys know, has got a bit of a long-term injury and will be out until uh, September, midway through September anyway. So, again, we've got no real fit left-backs at the club at the moment, senior level anyway. Um, right back, we have obviously brought in Josh Key, which is a really good addition. Obviously, Tim Andreshia is in the uh, under 23s, but there's rumours that he's been released anyway. Anyway, or you know he's coming back from an injury again so in terms of Swansea left back right backs you know not looking great but Southampton like I said got so many quality players I think Manning slots right straight right in there and obviously if James Ward Prowse does leave Southampton then they, they've got a ready made set piece replacement arguably not as good as Ward Prowse but um, <clears throat> Manning is still a very reliable player and can take very good set pieces. Surprised he's only got six caps for Republic of Ireland. Um, because I, I generally believe he's a lot better than Robbie Brady and James McLean. Anyway, let me know, guys, what you think of Ryan Manning leaving Swansea so to join Southampton on a free transfer. Uh, unlike Josh Key, uh, we will not be getting a compensation package as Manning didn't come through the academy, and of course he's un not under the age of twenty three. So yeah, we'd literally just not pay Manning wages. So um, yeah, it's a big loss, big big loss. But in terms of him staying in the championship, slightly surprised I thought he could make that move up to the Premier League uh, with one of the newly promoted sides but yeah Manning still in the championship but yeah let me know guys what you think Southampton fans I, I, I know there's a few of you are going to be watching this so let me know how excited you are to see Ryan Manning uh, played on the south course this season if you did enjoy the video please leave a like comment subscribe and yeah Swan City have lost arguably one of the most creative players in the championship at left back to another championship club yeah, this one hurts. This one hurts. Hopefully I won't be making another video like this if Joel Pro, Matt Grimes, Nathan Wood leaves because this one was a hard one to make. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.